Hello and welcome back everyone. It's time for year 2 science lesson. We are still in unit 8, mixture. Today, we are going to continue our previous lesson with the topic methods to separate a mixture. So, if you are ready, let's get to it. Let's go! Alright boys and girls, to start our lesson, let us do some revision first. If you still remember, in our previous lesson, I've introduced to you a few methods to separate a mixture. Do you still remember that? Here, let me show it to you. Yes, I introduced to you these four methods to separate a mixture. Hand picking, sieving, flotation, magnetic attraction, and today, I will introduce to you one more method to separate a mixture, which is filtration. Right, filtration. Now, as you can see here in page 88, we have discussed about this activity, which is I suggest to you that we are going to use hand picking to separate the muruku and the nuts. I hope you still remember that. Now, I will show to you why did I suggest hand picking method. As I said before, Kugan and Kanang can separate the mixture of muruku and nuts by using the hand picking method. Do you know why is the hand picking method used to separate this mixture? Easy, isn't it? This is because nuts and muruku are large and have different shapes, so they can separate it easily. Now we are going to discuss more methods to separate a mixture. For this activity, please refer to your textbook, page 89. Alright, here we are going to discuss four situations. Do you know how to separate the other mixtures? Situation 1. Let's read the dialogue. Mother, what do you want to do? I want to bake a birthday cake for father. Suddenly, his brother adds some raisins into the flour. Brother, don't! Look, they are mixed. So now the flour are mixed with the raisins. Alright? Now, how to separate this mixture of flour and raisins? Do you know how? Ah. How Kugan separate a mixture of resins and flour? So Kugan said it's so easy. Kugan separates a mixture of flour and resins using the sieving method. Why did Kugan choose that method? Do you know why? Yes, the sieving method can separate fine size materials and large size materials. As you can see here, the flour is fine size materials. Meanwhile, the resins is large size material. So, using sieving method, it can be separated easily. Another one. Now, let us look at situation 2. Let's read the dialogue together. Why is my paper clips box here? Your paper clips are mixed in with the sand. You see here? These are the paper clips, all mixed with the sand. How can Kanang separate his paper clips from the sand? Do you have any idea how to separate them? Kanang can separate the mixture of paper clips and sand using a magnet. Why did he use a magnet? Do you know the answer? Why did Kanang use a magnet to separate the mixture of paper clips and sand? Yes, because the magnet will attract the paper clips from the sand. You see this series of photo here, right? Whenever Kanangs move the magnet in the sand like this, all of the paper clips attracted to the magnet. So he can separate the paper clips from the sand easily. Nice. Now, let's look at situation 3. I can't wait to rear this goldfish. Oh, this old aquarium is so dirty. There is a lot of sand and wood debris inside. How can we separate a mixture of sand and decay wood debris? Can you think 
what method is suitable for to separate this mixture we can separate this mixture using the flotation method all right boys and girls remember this flotation method why because wood debris can float in water how to do it easy there are only two steps first pour water and stir the mixture all right as you can see from this picture pour the water and stir the mixture separate the wood debris how and why because the wood debris float in the water so you can separate them easily as you can see in picture number two now let's discuss on situation four this investigation needs a colored liquid from hibiscus petals how do you produce this liquid all right we continue pound the hibiscus petals and dissolve them in water then filter them all right they are going to conduct an investigation they need hibiscus liquid all right so they pound all right they pound the hibiscus petals and dissolve them in the water but they only need just the colored liquid they don't need the petals so how are they going to um, separate this mixture let's look together all right after that filter the mixture using a filter paper into a conical flask all right this is filter paper fold them into cone and put in the filter tunnel filter funnel sorry filter funnel all right and then they will pour the mixture in the filter funnel which is got filter paper in it all right pieces of hibiscus petal will remain on the filter paper colored liquid will be collected in the conical flask as you can see they should pour the mixture in the filter funnel and then the conical flask will keep the colored liquid meanwhile the filter paper will filter the petals remaining petals let's proceed why do you separate this mixture using the filtration method remember that huh? this situation for about filtration method because using the filtration method solid materials can be separated from liquid materials that's the key right to separate solid materials from liquid materials we can use filtration method filtration method all right a mixture can be separated using the hand picking method sieving method magnetic attraction flotation method and the filtration method so now i've already explained to you five methods to separate a mixture which is hand picking sieving flotation magnetic attraction and filtration i hope that's clear it's time to test your understanding for this topic refer to your science year 2 activity book and turn to page 56 all right you will find this activity separate it like this let's read the instruction why are these methods used to separate mixture match the methods with their explanation so your job here is to match these methods and picking magnetic attraction filtration sieving and flotation to their explanation on the right all right i will discuss with you these two methods only the rest of them you will have to answer on your own all right number one hand picking what is the explanation yes to separate two large size materials number two magnetic attraction what is the explanation yes very good everyone to separate materials that can be attracted to magnet from materials that cannot be attracted to magnet all right that's the explanation for hand picking and magnetic attraction for number three four and five you have to answer this on your own all right let's proceed to our next activity
In this activity, please refer to your Science Year 2 activity book. Turn to page 57. Methods to separate mixture. Alright, let's read the instruction. Color the suitable methods to separate the following mixture. Give your reasons. Alright, the first mixture is mixture of sand and iron powder. Second mixture is noodles and water. So, first question. This mixture can be separated by... Alright, boys and girls, we are going to discuss this activity together. So, let's discuss this and you will have to copy the answer in your book, alright? Don't worry about that. So, we will go through this activity together. Number one, this mixture can be separated by... Is it magnetic attraction or hand-picking? Because... And you have to give your reasoning why. Why you choose magnetic attraction or hand-picking. So, your answer will be... Yes, very good. Magnetic attraction. So, you color this box of magnetic attraction. You can color this answer. Magnetic attraction. And give the reason why. This mixture can be separated, separated by mag magnetic attraction because... As you can see here, the sand and the iron powder. Do you still remember the paper clips? mixed with the sand they use magnetic magnet isn't it because iron powder attracted to magnet and separate it from the sand so using magnet the iron powder will be attracted to the magnet and pull it or separate it from the sand so then you have two different uh, material already which is sand and iron powder Right, that's clear. So, color this answer and copy this into your book. All right. Second question: the mixture of noodles and water. The question is: this mixture can be separated by. What's your answer? How to separate noodles from water? Or you can, you want to separate the water from the noodles? Is it straining, straining, or? Sieving? What's your answer? Is it sieving? Just like the one in situation 1 uh, To separate the flour and the resins Or straining? What is straining? I didn't say it about anything about straining, isn't it? Well, I give you the answer here is Straining Why straining? Let me explain to you this mixture can be separated by straining because it is simple method of filtration to separate solid materials from liquid materials. Remember, solid materials here is noodles and the liquid material here is water. So whenever we want to separate uh, solid material from liquid material, we use filtration method. So straining is one simple way of filtration method right it is the same filtration method just like the one that we discussed in situation four previously i hope that's clear and please copy all of these answers in your um, activity book Alright everyone, that's about it for today's lesson. I hope to see you in the next video for our next lesson. Until then, take care and bye-bye.